um, the reason that there is a housing crisis is that not enough houses have been built. And that we have 25 million people who shouldn't be here. Well, Jim, this is the news, Jim. Donald Trump's vice presidential pick and running mate J.D. Vance stops the mouth of an arrogant reporter and teaches her something in the process. Um, the reason that there is a housing crisis is that not enough houses have been built. And that we have 25 million people who shouldn't be here. Well, I mean, this is the thing. <laughs> I, I mean, I think it's both. Um, I, I know you do. I, I don't think that many um, people who look into this agree with you, but about a third of the construction workforce in this country is Hispanic. Of those, a large proportion are undocumented. So how do you propose to build all the housing necessary that we need in this country? by removing all the people who are working in construction. This New York Times reporter wants to know who is going to pick all the cotton. I mean, who is going to do all the construction if we deport all the illegal construction workers that are being exploited for cheap labor, or as Democrats call them, undocumented voters? Well, I think it's a, it's a fair question because we know that back in the 1960s when we had very low levels of illegal immigration, Americans didn't buy houses, didn't build houses. But, but of course they did. And I'm being sarcastic, of course, in service of a point, Lulu, the assumption that because a large number of home builders now are using undocumented labor, that that's the only way to build homes. I think, again, the country is much bigger. A fundamental the need is much bigger. I mean, I'm not arguing in favor of illegal immigration. I'm asking how you would deal with the knock-on effect of your proposal to remove millions of people who work in a critical part, part of the economy. Well, I think that what you would do is you would take, let's say, for example, the 7 million prime age men who have dropped out of the labor force, and you have a smaller number of women, but still millions of women prime age who have dropped out of the labor force. Um, you you absolutely could re-engage folks into the American labor market. This is, I think- To work is, in construction? Of course you could. I so mean, as the unemployment it, so as rate as you, is 4.1%. Most the people who- unemployment rate, Lulu, this, this is important. But most people who don't work can't work in the regular economy. They're in the military. Their parents, they're sick, they're old. They might not want to work in construction. The unemployment rate is not does not count labor force participation dropout. This sounds like the same argument Democrats were making when the Republicans were fighting for the equality and freedom of the slaves. Here, the New York Times is arguing- Who's going to do all the cheap labor if we don't have the undocumented voters? I mean, workers. And again, this is one of the really deranged things that I think illegal immigration does to our society is it gets us in a mindset of saying we can only build houses with illegal immigrants. And we have 7 million, just men, not even women, just men who have completely dropped out of the labor force. People say, well, Americans won't do those jobs. Americans won't do those jobs for below the table wages. They won't do those jobs for non-living wages, but people will do those jobs. They will just do those jobs at certain wages. And think about this from the perspective I, of an American company, okay? I want them to go searching in their own country for their own citizens. Sometimes people who may be struggling with addiction or trauma get them re-engaged in American society. We cannot have an entire American business community that is giving up on American workers and then importing millions of illegal laborers. That is what we have thanks to Kamala Harris's border policies. I think it's one of the biggest drivers of inequality. It's one of the biggest reasons why we have millions of people who have dropped out of the labor force. Why try to re-engage an American citizen in a good job if you can just import somebody from Central America who's going to work under the table for poverty wages? It is a disgrace. Grace, and it has led to the evisceration of the American middle class.